if you would like to study bachelor degrees in finland i'm going to show to you everything that you need to know so that you'll be able to get yourself ready for the next application that is coming up january 3rd of january to 14th of january 2024 which is next few months coming so guys in this video i'm going to be discussing about all the details about studying in finland bachelor degrees the document that you need to get yourself ready so you prepare yourself very well and get yourself ready okay first of all one thing you need to know about studying in finland is that uh, this country is amazing and every student have you know you have the right up to 30 hours in a week to work as a student while studying so while studying you can be working and be making money and every student was given 30 hours you know the right to work in a week in finland okay another thing that you need to know is that every student if you want to apply to finland you are allowed to apply and select up to six schools and six courses that is six programs so your option is you know you have a lot of option if you did not succeed with this school you can succeed with another school do you understand so you should bear that in mind the next application is coming on third to 14th of january 2024 the only thing you need to do is to get yourself ready and prepare ahead of time so i'll be mentioning some of the document that you should get yourself ready you know so that you prepare yourself and be ready when the application period open you just apply and submit those documents okay let's now move on to the document that is needed what are those things that you need to get ready before this january i'm talking about okay the first one is you must have a biometric passport yes nigerian passport is biometric that is the international passport i'm talking about so that is the first document they need the second document is your yx certificate you need to show them that yes you have studied secondary school in your home country third document is your your english proficiency guys they don't used to ask english proficiency before but they started this thing just this september this september application they did so up onward going you know going forward they'll be asking you english proficiency they need ielts of 6.0 they need toefl of i think from 60 to and above so if you want to study in finland you should be able to write this exam and get yourself ready yes when i came here 2014 on scholarship you know study is for free for everybody you need to write that ielts then we wrote all this exam and i wrote it once and i was able to go get 6.5 you know 6.5 band as a whole so this is what finland need right now and if you don't want to get through the bachelor degree you can actually come through the vocational college and that one they need also english proficiency which is duolingo that one is duolingo yes and they have about four schools that is accepting people from outside of finland like schools like salvon vocational college schools like rivera vocational college vamia vocational college and also and also finest future vocational college so guys these are the few vocational college that you can apply you know to use it to come to finland to come and study but those school is for free you don't need to pay any dime but the one that is coming this january which is universities of applied science and universities and also masters you need to you need to pay tuition fee unless you got you know fully funded scholarship on it but actually for the master they have some fully funded scholarship plus five thousand euros relocation grant and you need to make sure that your document your maybe you you got a very high scores and you perform very well in your previous bachelor degree because those one is masters that one is fully funded scholarship and is being funded by minister of education and culture in finland so if you are so lucky to be granted this scholarship that's fine okay so by the one i'm talking about like mainly is the joint application that is coming up january so it's going to start on third and it's going to end on 14th of january 2024 so that's why you have to pay tuition fee and you have to select six schools and six courses okay you can select nothing 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 all of them or you can select nursing and engineering nursing and engineering or you can select nursing business and uh, business administration or international business something like that so these are the kind of thing that you can select until you complete six 
Do you understand? And remember, the kind of courses that you select will affect what kind of exam they will set for you. If you put something like uh, engineering courses, of course, they are going to ask you advanced mathematics. You are going to write it in your entrance exam. If you select nursing, they are going to ask you this uh, emotional intelligence and uh, reasoning skills and different kind of skills they are going to test you on. But if you do not select any engineering, you will not... You know, you not write any advanced mathematics. Do you understand? So this is all you should bear in mind. Okay, another thing I should tell you is that in Finland, before you can study in all this universal of license, you need to write entrance exam. Yes, they will send you entrance exam, and it, I think it's about between you know January, February, March, you know around March, April something like that yes in between so that is the time they usually write their entrance exam and entrance exam has actually gotten more strict guys oh my god there are people that is preparing for this one they applied this september there's people that is actually preparing for this entrance exam and they have brought out a monitoring system this is a chrome extension that you have to download to your computer before you participate on the exam and that monitoring system they'll they'll be watching you watching what you are doing if you turn like this or be shaking on your exam they will suspect that you are doing mango mango do you understand so you have to prepare for the exam very well so you'll be able to write it yourself you focus on that monitoring it i think it, it's going to come like a camera like this and you have to be looking and put your face you know face your front face your laptop <laughs> because they are going to be monitoring you watching everything that you are doing on that day do you understand okay before the entrance exam before they invite you for the entrance exam they have something that they call uh pre-identification it is a candle id app they call it candle id app you have to download it they're going to send you a link which contain a code so that you'll be able to identify yourself pre to the exam you understand pre to the exam ex entrance exam so you have to identify yourself with your passport which is your biometric passport and they are also going to capture your face you know so that you to be the same person that you know that identify himself so right now everything is no more hope again for any kind of magu magu so you have to prepare yourself very well for the exam make sure that you prepare for those reasoning skill mathematical skill english language skills and this is at the kind of session they are going to be testing you on before you know on your exam day so this all i know is that any human being that prepare very well for his exam, you'll be able to you'll be able to succeed in whatever thing that you are preparing or you are writing. Do you understand? So do not be scared. The only thing is that you have to prepare very well and get yourself ready. Then after that, they, you will now wait. Then they will now give admission. Once they send you admission letter that you have been granted admission in so so school, please try and uh, make decision if you are if you want to accept it. Once you accept it, they will send you the acceptor letter in pdf format or you can now download it print it out you know and use it to apply for your appointment through the vfs so you'll be able to go to embassy for your resident permit interview question and thumbprint so you need to get yourself ready with your sponsorship certificates who is going to sponsor you because every student that's coming to finland you need to prove to the immigration that you have up to 6720 euros to take care of your living expenses while you are in finland so some people get the money from one way or the other from their sponsor and you need to prepare those documents the relationship with your sponsor you can say is your dad or your auntie or your brother or your sister the person has to provide his or her own uh, statement of account and you know maybe work contract also and pay slips then you also the money have to be in your account Account, you know through your sponsor so that you the sponsor will now write a sponsorship letter and proving to them that actually the money came from his account to your own account you that is going to be the student so yes you can come with your family you can come with your family you can move you know to Finland with your family that time you apply for reason permit you can apply it together with your family yes 
together along that time so but the only thing is that that proof of fun is going to increase because it's now it's not only you again you have to prove to them that you're going to you have the money to take care of your whole family you understand or you can apply together with that proof of fun once you come first and get job and set it then your family can now join later because you already have risen permit so so that is it. In your interview question, they ask you some question about your studies and different kind of things. So you just have to prepare. It's not really hard anyway. So once you have passed through all this process, all every other thing is very easy. So I hope you find some value from this video. I hope you learned some things. I really wish you all the best. Finland is an amazing country and it can give you lots of opportunities that you want. You can, you know, you can come here through a uh, paid tuition fee, through tailored made program, through free schools, and so many of uh, so many options. Even masters, even PhD, even research work, like doctorate degrees. So, these are all the options available for you. I really wish you all the best, and I hope you find some values in this video. Please follow me in my Facebook page and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Road Academy Hub. I love you all, and I wish you all the best. Let me know your question in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one session, you can book a session with me and you get to speak with me and I will guide you and put you through in whatever way you want to. So next time I'll be discussing how to come to Finland through work. You know, a lot of people have gotten job contract in Finland and get a resident permit for work permit. So it's also possible. So next time I'll discuss about that in my videos. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.